All right, so for the tricks class, what we can also talk about is the AKC trick dog uh, title that you can get on your dog. And I am not as familiar with the trick dog title. Diane actually does this. Um, but one thing we offered to our last session of classes, and I would like to offer it to you guys as well, is if you are able to, I think she thinks that hula hoop is a big frisbee. I think so too. <laughs> Good job, stay. So the trick dog title here, you can actually record you doing these challenges, like these tricks, and send them to Diane and she can actually check you off for those. So if you're interested about that, it's um, the email is on the website. I believe it's Diane at everydogtrainingcenterllc.com. I could be wrong, it just auto-populates for me. So double check the email. But let it come. come on up down but some of these tricks um let's see it was the criteria for the novice title and i think this is actually really cool for the novice title the dog must perform 10 tricks or if you already have your canine good citizen registered with the akc your dog only needs to do five tricks you can use food and toys as a lure or you can use them as a reward down uncomfortable, isn't it? So I can lure this. Remember, a lure is getting them to do the trick with the treat up their nose. This is really uncomfortable first. I'm going to let her back up. Sit down. That's better. I think this bar was uncomfortable for her. So I can lure it um, or I can reward it. Touch. Yes. And then produce a treat. Ooh, I've got a lung. Dogs are gross. All right. So you can use... <laughs> Food is a reinforcer. You can also click to mark behaviors, all for the novice trick title. The novice level, each dog has to do the trick twice for the evaluator. So if you wanted to look online to see if you wanted to start doing the trick dog title as something that you're doing as you guys are quarantined or self-quarantining or staying in the home, or if we end up getting a stay in place, this is an excellent way to just stay busy with your dog, giving yourself this target goal of trying to get a novice trick dog title. So if you Google novice trick dog title or AKC, or I'll, I don't know how do the YouTubers do it. They point and then a magic thing happens with like a, a website address. Maybe I'll figure that out for you. Um, <laughs> I'll put it down here just for comic effect. Um, but you guys can start doing a, uh, working on that. There's also the intermediate level thing. Perform 10 tricks from the intermediate tricks list without food or toys as a lure. And you can use a reinforcer um, and you can use a clicker, so, um, but you can't lure. Um, so keep that in mind. And then there's an advanced one. Uh, you cannot use food or toys as a lure, but you can also use a clicker. So you would have to use the, um, the from the list. Um, so the list we have over here, I believe, I might've gone over it last week, but I can't remember. Um, so we have walk on a balance beam, bark on cue, crawl, find, fetch, and give, get in the box, which is a trick that we did for today, um, get on, so get on a platform or get on a bed, um, hand signal, so sit down and come. Your dog knows those three already. Um, high five, hold an object, get your kennel, jump, so easy. Like touch, you gotta jump. Uh, kiss, pause up on a step, push up, sit down, sit. That's a puppy one of uh, puppy class requirement or a manners one. Uh, shake, so paw basically. Uh, spin in a circle, which hopefully we all know how to do already. Touch and tunnel. Those are all of the novice things that you can do with allure if you need to, to get your trick dog title for novice. Um, for intermediate, you can look up the requirements for that and also for advanced if you really want to push yourself. Um, so I highly encourage you guys to try the AKC trick dog title or consider it just personal challenges for yourself for the next couple of weeks if these videos are maybe not quite as um, pushing you as much as you need to be pushed. There are those resources as well.